In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 8, Section 4, Calculator Permitted, Questions 23 and 24. We did 22 in the previous video. That was part of a two-part set. So we're going to start with question 23. The equation above models the number of members, m, of a gym t years after the gym opens. Of the following, which equation models the number of members of the gym q quarters after the gym opens? So you should recognize this is exponential growth. 1800 is the original number of members. We know that it's 1 plus the rate, and so the rate is 2%, and it's annually because t is the number of years. And so we have to find the formula, but we've got to convert it to, to quarters. We know there's four quarters in a year, so right away we know it's going to be a or b. We need that rate of 2%. We just have to change the exponent. And so is it q over 4 or 4 times q? You just want to be careful here. It's q over 4. And if you're ever uncertain, what you could do is plug a value in. So let's say, for example, it's we're just going to make it 4 quarters. We know 4 quarters is 1 year. If we plug in a 4 for q, we'd get 1. And that's the annual growth rate of 2. If we plug in a 4 here, we'd get 2% times 16. That'd be 16 years. And so that doesn't make sense. The answer here is A, but if you're ever uncertain for confirmation, just plug a value in and test it. All right, let's take a look at question number 24. For the finale of a TV show, viewers could use either social media or text message to vote for their favorite of two contestants. The contestant receiving more than 50% of the vote won. An estimated 10% of the viewers voted and 30% of the votes were cast on social media. Contestant two earned 70% of the votes cast using social media and 40% of the votes cast using test message. Based on this information, which of the following is an accurate conclusion? So there's a lot of information here. Let's try to just um, to diagram it. We know there's only two types of methods to vote by. There is social media and text. So social media and text. There are only two contestants, one and two. The contestant receives 50% of the votes, more will win. An estimated 10% of the viewers voted. So you should recognize this is a sample. We're not asking all the people who watched. We're just asking 10%. But this looks to be fair, right? There's no information that indicates it wasn't random. If you ask 10% of the population, their findings can be extrapolated to the whole population. Of the, the viewers who voted, 30% were cast on social media and 70% and seven or all they tell us is 30 percent vote on cast on social media but we know of 30 percent vote by social media we can figure out there are only two mediums that 70 percent voted by text message contestant two earned 70 percent of the votes cast on social media so contestant two received 0. 0.7 that's contestant two and 40 percent using test message text message so this is two again Based on the information, we want to make an accurate conclusion. Now, you don't really have to do this, but I think this is helpful. 70% of 30% of the population, if you just multiply this out, this would be 0 0.3, you'd get 0 0.21. This is the percentage of all the votes that two received on social media. 0 0.4 times 0 0.7 is 0 0.28. This is the proportion or percentage, 28% of all the voters who voted by text message for two. And if you add these up, you can get the total of all the votes, 0.49. So two just lost, right? That means one received 51%. You don't have to do that, but this is sort of helpful if you understand this concept. Let's take a look at the choices. If all the viewers had voted, contestant two would have won. So we know that only 10% of the viewers voted, that was a sample, but there's no indication that if all the viewers had voted, anything would change. The sample is fair. We just can't make that determination. In fact, it's probably not true. B, viewers voting by social media were more likely to be younger than viewers voting by text message. Is there any information at all about the age of the viewers? No, you can't make any determination about that. We only can tell based on the population and the mediums and nothing about their age. C, if all the viewers who voted had voted by social media instead of by text message, two would have won. So they're saying of all the people who voted, if they had voted by social media, so if these text message voters had switched to social media, 
two would have won. You want to be careful here. There's just not enough information. Is there any indication that these text message voters would change? No, you can't make that determination. Let's take a look at D. The viewers voting by social media were more likely to prefer contestant two than the viewers voting by text message. The viewers voting by social media were more likely to prefer two, right? 70% than the 40% who preferred to by text. This looks good. And you want to look for words like likely, moderate words when you're doing these sample questions. Don't pick words like cause or extreme words like always or never. It's just you can't make these determinations. You want moderate words like likely, and this is definitely a true statement. The answer is D.